We're outside of Todd Corso's law office in Lapeer. When he saw us walking towards the building, he closed the blinds and slammed the door in our face. Hi there. We're looking for Todd Corser. Hi, Todd. Can I ask you some questions? Excuse me, Mr. Corser. Todd Corser did not want to comment after the state attorney general announced charges against him and Cindy Gamrat. Both former state representatives are accused of trying to cover up their extramarital affair using taxpayer money. Gamrat is facing two charges, while Corser has four charges against him, including perjury. We waited for him to leave his office when he did not want to comment. Anything to say about the charges? God bless you. Excuse me, Mr. Corser. I told him, face up to it. Come on, get out of the closet now. You're, you're being charged now. There's four felonies. Come out and face your charges. Paula Proctor has some choice words for Corser. But as a lawyer, he knew what he was doing. And as a state representative, he knew he wasn't working for this community. You could never get a hold of him. He was only looking out for Todd. She says he was his longtime friend and supporter, but not anymore. Are you angry? Very, very. He's hiding behind using Christianity. He's given this community a huge black eye, which we did not need. Word of the affair came in August. Corser is accused of using public resources to try to discredit rumors of the affair. Proctor and other voters want the former state rep to admit his wrongdoings. If he's done this, he needs to step up to the plate. If it was me, I'd already be in jail. And if found guilty, both Corser and Gamrat could face several years behind bars. In Lapeer, Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit. All right, Simon, thank you.